I'm here now with Dust. Dust. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Justin Deloach right. <laughs> from the Children's Advocacy Center, who's going to tell us a little bit about their cost of volunteers. You throw the D, you know, know from I, Justin to Deloach, and it happens. It's all good. Well, it's a good way to start our first interview, <laughs> yes. Morgan. So it's good to see you <laughs> on too. Kayla's T. So thank you for the visit. But we are very excited because we do have a summer training coming up for CASA volunteers. Everyone who knows CAC and knows CASA knows right. the importance of it in our community. But what is so unique this time is this is our first in-person training since COVID and also our first in-person training in our new facility on South Bryant. So oh, a lot wow, of exciting things awesome. with this first. So. For sure. So can people still sign up? I know you said the training is Monday. Is there still time to get people in and yes. background checked and everything? Yes. So that is the main thing. We're encouraging anyone who is interested. So in order to become a CASA volunteer, you do have to be uh, 21 years of age and also be able to pa uh, pass a background check. And so if you are interested, there is an interview process. It's nothing tedious. It's just we want to get to know you and kind of see what your focus is right. for the kiddos. Uh, because we do serve uh, ages zero all the way to 17 years of age. So if your attention span is or what you're trying to focus on is more of an, an adolescent, you know, from four to seven, we can connect you with that or right. even a teenager. Uh, but we do want to take that time to get to know you. So you'll come in for an interview. Then the training starts next Monday. Um, we are still offering training online as well. So for okay. those of who are still not comfortable coming in person, you can sign up to do the online, but most of it will be offered in person. Um, and it is a two night a week training for two weeks. Awesome. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about what a cost volunteer does exactly? Sure. So the dedication of time is about seven hours a month. And roughly what a cost volunteer is, is an independent advocate for a child who has been removed from their permanent placement and placed in foster care. So as you can imagine, when a child is pulled from their home, a lot of changes are taking right. place. And so the CASA steps in to be the one advocate that advocates for those child's needs. Um, and so you go, you go to doctor's appointments, you go to teacher meetings, you get to go to the park, you can take mm -hmm. them to the movies, you do everything to keep that child on the right track. Right. Um, and so any CASA volunteer knows it can go from six months to about two years, um, but really you get to change a child's story uh, ultimately, and it really is the best way to change a child's life during this time in their life. So it's very, very needed in our community. Definitely. That's awesome. And we do have a little bit of extra time, Justin, so why don't you tell us just a little bit about the Children's Advocacy Center in general? I know I'd sure. like to know a little bit more myself. Oh, definitely. Well, and as I mentioned, we did open our uh, first phase of our new campus on South Bryant, South Jackson. Okay. Um, the Town & Country Plaza, which is the former Town & Country Food Stores headquarters, is now open, and CASA is actually uh, housed out of that building. And so beforehand, we really didn't have a training center. We didn't have a space for volunteers. And now with our new facility, we have have that. So That's we're awesome. very excited to offer that to the community and welcome it. Uh, so we're really excited to have folks come check it out. So wow. call us for a tour. But if you're more interested on uh, CASA, you can visit our website, cacgreaterwtx.org, okay. or give us a call at 653-HOPE. Perfect. And then people just wanting to volunteer in general, can they contact you through those as well? Yes, we have those opportunities as well through our three different programs, so we'd okay. be excited to have them. Great. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Justin and everyone. Uh, I really encourage you to take a look into CASA. I was telling Justin before we started that I was a Theta at Tech, and that's our philanthropy. So I know a little bit about it and have kind of seen how awesome it can be and how it really does uh, change children's lives. Right. So well, thank, thank you, you so Morgan. much, Justin, and we will be right back after this break.